Have you basically done anything in the 21st century like use Venmo, Robinhood, or Coinbase? Well, Plaid might owe you your share of a $58 million lawsuit because Plaid did a couple of no-nos. I'll be splitting this video into three sections. What Plaid does, what the lawsuit is about, and how you can claim your share of a $58 million lawsuit. I'll be including chapters in this video, so skip around to the section that is most relevant to you. I'm thinking most of you that clicked on this video already know what Plaid is. And they aren't a bad service, Plaid has made my life extremely easier after its introduction into financial apps. So basically, Plaid provides a simple interface to connect your banking information to apps that would need to use your banking information, which could be financial information to keep up with your budgets, or you might want to deposit some money into your apps like with Coinbase. Because before Plaid, if we wanted to use these services and connect our bank accounts, each app and bank had a different version of trying to verify your information. Like like typing in the exact numbers of your checking account and had to wait for it to be verified. So it was very sloppy. Now we have the option to use Plaid. All you have to do is enter your username and password of the bank you are wanting to connect. And most of the time this process works immediately and you can start using your bank in the same minute it was entered in, which is convenient. But the quick and easiness of Plaid is exactly why it became a problem and why the lawsuit was brought up against Plaid. So you know when you use Plaid to connect your banking services to an app like Robinhood and you go and select your bank that you're wanting to connect? Well, that page you're entering your username and password might not even be the official page of your banking institution. But sometimes Plaid will use your bank colors to make it look more legit. Plaid claims the lawsuit is wrong and denies trying to look like your official bank and says they are very clear, almost too clear, that you are clearly giving Plaid your banking username and password. I don't know about that chief. Maybe I'm just dumb, but I thought I was entering my information through my official bank. To be honest, I don't mind giving over my information to Plaid, a trustworthy company as I see it as of right now, but it definitely wasn't clear I was not entering my information with my bank. That's the first part of the lawsuit. The second part is that Plaid simply collected too much information. Like for example, if you were just wanting to connect your Chase checking account with Robinhood to deposit funds, Plaid would collect your checking account numbers to give to Robinhood, but Plaid would also collect other information like your purchase transactions or other information they didn't need, which is scummy and something they should not have done, or at least made clear they were doing. However, Plaid claims they never sold your information, so I guess that's something. Overall in this lawsuit, the court has not decided in favor of anyone, but instead reached a settlement of $58 million between Plaid and the people suing Plaid. So why does this matter to you? What do you gain from knowing this? Well, a couple of things. Plaid has to be more transparent about its practices. They have to delete some of the non-necessary data they've collected. Make sure they don't collect any more non-necessary data from you. Allow you to delete your information from Plaid. And they have to pay you out part of the $58 million lawsuit. And I'll be teaching you how to collect part of that $58 million pie. First, the requirements to even be qualified to collect on this lawsuit are You have to be a United States resident Have used Plaid between January 1st, 2013 and November 19, 2021 and must file before April 28th, 2022. If you are eligible, check your email and mailbox, especially your spam folder. That's where my email was at. And if you haven't gotten an email or mail about this lawsuit, you can still collect if you still meet the requirements. This is what the email version looks like, and here's what the mailed version looks like. So what you wanna do is go to pladsettlement.com, link in the description. Click on the tab, submit a claim. In the email, there will be two numbers located on the top of the email, a notice ID and a confirmation code. And on the piece of mail, it'll be above your address and your name. Now just enter those numbers in the respective fields on the claim file page. After you enter those codes, the page will redirect you to the form. And depending on which method you enter the code, your information will be half filled out. Like for the mail code, your name and address will be filled out, but you have to enter your email address. But if you have the email code, only your email address will be filled out and you have to fill out the other information above. After that, you'll have to choose how you want to get your money through either PayPal, Venmo, direct deposit, or paper check. With PayPal and Venmo, you just have to enter your phone number and you'll get a code sent to you. All you have to do is enter the code and that's it. For direct deposit, you have to enter your account number, routing number, and choose if this account is a savings account or a checking account. Or if you don't trust those methods or don't have them, you could also get a paper check mailed to you by clicking the tiny word link under all the other methods of payment. After that, all you have to do is sign your name and then click submit. And that's all you have to do. you also be getting a confirmation page, just print or save that page just in case. Now if you didn't get an email or a piece of mail with codes for you to enter, you can still collect on this settlement, but it will be more of a manual process. You also have to start on submit a claim tab, but instead of entering the codes, you have to go to the right and click on the button that says click here. After you do this, you'll be given the same claim forms you have to fill out, with the option to enter your notice ID if for some reason you have that but no confirmation code. 
Then in the next section, you'll have to manually enter the bank you use with Plaid, the app you use with Plaid, and the date of when you connected the two using Plaid. And this can be an estimation. You can do this for up to 8 times. After you enter all that information, just choose how you want to get paid, either through PayPal, Venmo, direct deposit, or paper check. Sign your name and then click submit. Then print or save your confirmation page, and then you're done. So how much money are you actually going to get? Well, the settlement fund is $58 million, but that's before the lawyer's cut and the representative's cuts and other fees. Nothing is official, but the attorneys are asking for 25%, which is $14.5 million. The representatives are asking for $5,000 each, and there are 11 of them, so $55,000 total, and other reasonable reimbursement charges. After that, everything else will go towards the people who have filed a claim, people like us. There is an estimate of 98 million people that will file a claim and be owed money from this lawsuit. So after the attorney's cut leaves us with $43.5 million. Then after the representative's cut, will be left with $43,445,000. And just a random, I think high estimate of $445,000 for the reimbursement charges and fees, just to make the numbers easier, comes out to $43 million. Split that between 98 million people and we get a total of 43 cents. Eh, better than nothing. 43 cents more than you had before and you could get more than this or less. But how much did it really cost you to fill out this form? Nothing. The other non-monetary benefit that also came from this case is Plaid has to allow you to delete your information from Plaid if that's what you want to do. All you have to do is go to Plaid Help Center, Privacy and Security, and Managing Your Data and click on can I remove the app access or delete my data from Plaid? Or you can just Google, can I remove app access or delete my data from Plaid? Or just click on the link in the description. Then click on the hyperlink text, click here to open a request with our support team. Then a support chat will appear. Just click on open a data deletion request. And that's about it. I personally don't really care about the lawsuit. I get why the lawsuit was brought up, but as long as I'm not being scammed or hacked, I don't really care if some large company knows that I go to Chipotle way too much for my own good. But hey, you and I got some money out of it so why not and yeah that's about it for this video subscribe if this video helped you out and i'll see you later